Hello fellow uh, shadows, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to talk about my favorite R2-D2 moment, one of them at least, and we're going to take things back to the Clone Wars, season 1, and this is not me undermining what R2 has done before or afterwards in the Star Wars saga, this is just one of my favorite parts in... For R2. Because this kind of brings out one of his most badass and coolest moments ever in my opinion. And that is all the way in season 1 of Clone Wars. As I probably said. I forget if I said that. And it's when. Uh, he gets lost. He gets taken. By the scavenger. And. Uh, it's pretty much when the story arc. When Anakin's finding. It's trying to fight R2, and I like that story arc for R uh, for Anakin as well, because that shows how much of a friend Anakin is. That shows that also Anakin saw, like with Luke, saw that R2-D2 was more than just a droid. It was a friend slash family to Anakin, and that shows that Anakin would do anything to protect the people he cares about. And Ahsoka kind of referenced that a bit while talking to Ezra in Rebels, was I like. So, it shows, our, like, when Arjus was being the captive, or be, was captured, I like how creative he was from, like, at the time, there was only like six Star Wars movies when I first saw the Clone Wars. When, from the six movies, I always knew Garchu could be a badass. He was creative. He was very smart. So that wasn't, like, the ways he tried to communicate with the Republic wasn't too surprising with how smart Garchu was. Garchu Dito has always been one of my favorite characters because... Of his wits, his bonus, his wittiness, and him being badass. <laughs> he was so being badass in like some like in the Phantom Menace, fixing the uh, uh, the queen ship in the Phantom Menace for one, helping Anakin destroy that battle station for one. And repairing C-3PO's head in the middle of the Battle of Geonosis. So all of that came prior to this event. Plus some stories that we have not heard of from R2-D2. So, and like, again, as I want to repeat. I'm not undermining his heroic and badass feats before or after, uh this moment because there's the battle of Yevon there's the battle of Hoth he witnessed Luke's training he was part of the battle of Endor he helped the resistance find Luke Skywalker the f connect connecting the final the missing piece of the map he what else did he do I'm trying he was in the battle of it was in the final battle of Rise of Skywalker. No way am I undermining those heroic stuff that Archer has done. So the reason why this is my favorite moment of Archer D2 is because later in that episode, he we also see R2 fighting this astromech droid that was a spy for the Separatists. And that was the close thing that I can remember, I'm rewatching the Clone Wars series on Disney Plus, but he, that's the closest thing to fist hand to hand combat that we get to see R2 do with another astromech droid, and that's awesome. That, whatever I thought of R2 beforehand heightens that badass rank for me with R2, and I like that. R2 D2 is great. He does. 
how he fights him, I don't exactly remember if R2 destroys the uh, Astro Mega Droid. I have to rewatch that episode to see. But the way R2 defends himself against the Astro Mech is great. And I like that. And I if if you like experiencing that part in Lego Star Wars 3 The Clone Wars. Guess you do do get to fight the Astro Mech Droid as R2 D2 in the Lego Star Wars 3. That's based off the Clone Wars seasons one and two. Which thank you. So yeah, that's my favorite R2 D2 moment. Uh pretty much because of racist's look oh sorry our racist's creativity skills souls off his creativity skills and his badass skills his combat skills that he's better he's more than just helping people help fight in ships help turn turn on or working on terminals it's more than that or keeping recordings it shows that he's more than that that he can't take care of himself if he needs to when no one else, when he's tagged up with no one else, he can take care of himself when he needs to. And I like that. I really like that. And that's one of the things I like most about the Clone Wars. It enhances the characters of, like, C-3PO, R2. The few episodes of Jar Jar enhances him. Padme, Sidious, Maul, Anakin. Pretty much any Jedi you see in the prequels, it enhances those characters. And it's really awesome. It's really awesome. So, what do you guys think? What is your guys' favorite R2-D2 moment in the entire Star Wars history? Leave a comment down below. Make the course to be with us all.